really steep price and you know you're not guaranteed to get anything and um, you know when you open these packs so uh, I mean I, I don't know I don't know like maybe we should go for limiter removal is limiter removal limited in this game see that's the key question is it limited because mm, if you can play it at three maybe that's worth going for I don't know I don't know well at any rate gyroids new out of here eh, it's okay I mean I prefer a Spirit Reaper or a Marshmallow on, but, you know, if you are playing a machine deck, you know, you can probably uh, use Gyroid's effect and then tribute with it, you know. I can't believe we're still missing one card out of here. That's crazy. Uh, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, some of the Dragons of Light stuff is pretty cool. Paladin of White Dragon I like. I'd like to build a Blue Eyes deck eventually, you know. Troop Dragon is a good floater. Okay, and plus, like, if nothing else, these are good. You know, the two, you can put those in just about any deck. 1900 attack, pretty solid, yeah. Uh, let's see, any other new cards? All right, we got Lava Gold. We already had Meteor Beat Dragon, that's cool. <laughs> I'd love to have this in Forbidden Memories, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, anyway, got Ingaruzis, so that's a new card. Uh, y Yama Yamada Dragon, yeah, check this thing out. Yeah. Uh, cannot be special summon. Returns to its owner's hand. Uh, yeah. During the turn, it's normal summon, flip summon, or flip face up. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, draw cards from your deck until you have five in your hand. It's a very good card. Very good. Um, I'm surprised, like, that, you know, that effect is printed on a card. I know it's a spirit monster and only sticks around for one turn, but draw until you have five? That's insane. That, that is insanely good. As long as you get the effect off, of course. Okay, you know what, uh, Sadie? Um, I will buy... I know they're expensive, but, you know... I mean, these points. Uh, let's buy a couple more of these as well. Can't believe we got that solo. But I know they're expensive, but... Man. And, like, you only get three cards per pack, too. Um, yeah, 400 is maybe... The, you know what? Let me think about it like this. Let me think about it like an investment. You know, if we can somehow build the machine deck with three limiter removal, which I still haven't checked if it's limited or not. I can't check from here. Yeah, let me... Okay, I'll buy five. I'll buy... You know, no. We'll buy... We'll buy a couple at a time. Yeah, and let's see if we can get three limiter removal. Okay, let's just do that. Because if we get three limiter removal, I'm going to stop buying. Karibo! Alright. Uh, Harpy's Pet Dragon. I think we already had that. Machine King's pretty good. Um, Tainted Wisdom Brain. Baphomet, the original illusionist monster. <laughs> oh yeah, what time is it, by the way? Uh, 7.36? Okay. I'll stop at, like, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, I didn't pay attention. Did we get a limiter removal? Um, <laughs> I was talking too much about classic cards. Uh, we're still at 84%, man. I guess all the cards we're missing out of here must be ultra rares? That's insane. Uh, what do we get? So we got Drillroid. Oh, okay, so we have Steamroid, Drill, Drillroid, Gyroid now. Patchroid. Uh, honestly, Drillroid's pretty good. I'll probably be putting that in my Earth deck just because it's effect. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, if it attacks a defense position monster, destroy it with this card's effect. Uh, without inflicting damage. Very good effect. So, yeah. Probably be putting that in my Earth deck in between episodes, you know. You guys know how we do. Uh, we did get one more limiter removal, okay. And you have Roy Fighter, which we don't really want, but... Okay, so we got two limiter removal. Okay, let's buy... Let's buy one more <laughs> live vehicles and see if we get a limiter removal. If we if we get three, like I said, I'll stop buying. Uh, there. Yes. Okay. Alright, can we get it? Uh, Drill Roy's good. Steam Roy's good. Okay. Um, should I buy one more? Yeah, I'll buy one more. I'll buy one more. Okay, maybe we'll build this deck on screen for once. Because I kind of want to try it out, if I'm being honest. I've already put this much uh, DP into it, so... Okay, Polly. Hmm. Okay, 
is that our first copy of Polymerization? No, no, because it would say new if it was. Alright, I'll buy one more Sadie, you got me. Okay. And like, we might already have one on Robo 2, and I'm just wasting my Gildas points, but... It's okay, it's okay. Yes! Okay, we got we got the third one. Okay. So, okay. Alright. And we got 300 left. We might as well go all the way down. Let me try to get the third Mobius. Because uh, this is only available on weekends. The, uh, yeah, the Residence of the Sea. So, I might as well. While we're here. Please, Mobius. Please. Please. Oh, we got Demon Soldier. Oh. Ah, I've got, like, a lot of Demon Soldiers, though, at this point. Okay. Okay. I'm done, Sadie. Yeah, for once, let's build the deck on screen, shall we? So let's save. Yeah. Okay, let's go to deck. And let's see if I can figure this out. Um, uh, you go here. Okay, here we go. Um, deck mode. Let's go to this empty one. Yeah. Name. I will name this. Uh. Should I name it? Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I've got a good name for it, if it'll fit. For a, a limited removal deck. Um, on. 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 Lim. Unlimited. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Can we not fit it? Can we not fit it? Uh, how about I go with just D? You know what? How about we put a D at the end? Unlimited D. Yeah. Unlimited. Okay, that's the name of the deck. Uh, speaking of unlimited, is it unlimited? I need to check. Uh, edit. Okay, there are no cards. Man, scarier words have never been said. There are no cards. There are no cards, guys. <laughs> uh, let's check limiter removal. Uh, okay, and this is the way I build decks in this game. Basically, if a card is blue, I put it in because that means it's limited to one. Uh, we'll look for limiter removal in the meantime. Um, this might not be a bad call at the kind of deck I'm going for, unless we have Rush Recklessly. You know what, I'll put in one for now. If we have Rush, two Rush Recklessly, I'll change it out. Um, let's see, let's see. Also, Gaia Power might not be a bad idea, because uh, a lot of machines are Earth. Um, let's see here. Swords, okay, we'll throw in swords. Um, should I throw in Megamorph? Maybe like one could help us do what we're trying to do. Okay. Um, Graceful Charity. Mm -hmm. We still haven't gotten Pot of Greed. Oh, maybe that's what we're missing out of that. You know how in like one pack we're missing like one of the spell packs we're missing like one card? It's probably Pot of Greed. It's probably what it is. Uh, should I put in two scapegoat? Sure, why not? Um, Fisher's kind of good, but uh, I think Smashing Ground would be better. Uh, Tribute to the Doom. Should I put this in this deck? Honestly, yeah, because like some flip monsters are pretty annoying, and that can get rid of them without flipping them. So yeah, I probably should. Heavy Storm to get clear of the back row, or at least try to. Um, Hmm, Upstart Goblin. Okay, I'm gonna put in two of these. Mainly because we don't have a lot of draw power. Snatch Steel's good. Because obviously in this deck, like I'm going for, it's kind of a high rolly deck. High rolly, like, all-out attacks deck. We obviously want to see limited removal, like, as soon as possible. But uh, that's not always a guarantee. And honestly, if we boost our life points, it doesn't really matter for doubling our attack, you know. Duo... Sure, sure, duo's good. We won't see the combo every duel. Okay, I do have two rush recklessly, so we'll take out the, uh, uh, the, uh, yeah, we'll take out the malevolent nuzzler. Yeah, so to the trunk. There we go. Okay. All right, good, good, good. MST, gotta have it. Uh, maybe I should throw in, like, two giant trunade. You know what? I should throw in like three giant trune in this deck, actually. Yeah. If nothing else, we can bait the magic jammers, yeah. Okay, yeah, three giant trune is a good idea. Uh, how many Gaia power do I want? Probably just one. I'll 
throw in two for now, and maybe I'll back one out, maybe. Because you don't want a brick on Gaia Power either. Yeah, two cross out to get rid of the flip monsters. Um, should I play Extermination? Shh. I'll play one. Yeah, because with three, let me think, three Giant Trunade, one Heavy Storm, one MST, one Extermination. That should be enough back row hate, because I'm not really going to play seven tools in this deck, as good as it is, because basically we're going for like a, you know, quick finish bonus. Maybe I'll play two extermination. No, no, just one, just one, just one. I think just one will do. Uh, I thought that was lightning vortex. Um, this might also be a consideration. You had to do piercing damage. That is a consideration. Ooh, and it's not limited. It's not blue. Limiter removal is not limited. Oh, dude, we already had three. Well, oh, well, if nothing else, we got a bunch of extra machines. Because I'm not sure I had, like, three steamroids and stuff. So let's throw this in. Let's throw in Fairy Meteor Crush. Uh, let's throw in United We Stand. Definitely, definitely. If I had Mage Power, I'd throw it in. But Lightning Vortex can help us with what we're trying to do. Um, I'll go ahead and throw in the Sinister Serpent combo. Um, just in case. Um, no, no, this only gets warriors. Some warriors do have high attack power, though. I could throw in a goblin attack force just for Rhoda. Yeah, just for Rhoda and Gaia power. That's honestly not a bad idea. As well as Exile Force, yeah. I'll throw in the three uh, Goblin Attack Force and Exile Force. That's honestly not a bad idea, honestly. Um, okay. And should I throw in Big Bang Shot? No. Okay, any other good spells I could use for this strategy? Yeah, like I said, Smashing Ground... Maybe not on Smashing Ground. I'll throw it... Yeah, because we're already at 33 cards. Holy crap. Uh, I'll throw in one Smashing Ground. Yeah, okay, okay. And... Anything else to help me with this strategy? Um... Hmm, maybe this? No, no. Skyscraper. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Now, as far as traps go in this deck, I'm honestly not going to play that many. Um, because, like I said, this deck's more about, you know, all-out attacks. Not really... Okay, we'll play the one of Mirror Force. I mean, we did get that. You know, it's nice to have. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I meant to... That's what I forgot to do. I forgot we pulled this. I might try this in a future episode, building a reversal of Graves deck. That could honestly be very interesting, a deck out deck. And I wonder if there's a different bonus for winning for deck out. Um, I don't think there's too many other limited traps. If we have Ring of Destruction, I definitely throw it in, but I don't think we do, not in this game. No. Should I throw in Kuragane? Eh, oh, we won't always get like our OTK strategy going. So I'll throw in... I'll throw in Chu Kuragane. Because a lot of machines are Earth. Hmm, this is a consideration as well. Because if we use Rising Energy and then double the attack... an interesting consideration. You know what? Should I throw in three? Yeah, three might be a little too bricky, but I think two's a good idea, honestly. Because, yeah, this boosts by 1,500. And, it, and, like, if we don't get the LTK strategy, the, uh, like, quick, you know, limited removal strategy off, um, 
extra damage is always a potential for extra points. Maybe I should put three of this in, actually. Thinking about it, going for the extra damage bonus. The over, over, overdone damage bonus. Yeah, maybe I should put three. Yeah, that's... Because that's a substantial increase. If you double that, like, my goodness, that's a lot of damage. Um, okay, so for monsters... Uh, let's look for any effect machines. Um, any machines, machines, machines. Metal Zoe is a machine. <laughs> uh, no, we don't want Machine King because it tributes. Um, don't get me wrong, it's good, but Magician of Faith, man, Magician of Faith's good, but it's a little slow. Screw it, it's almost too good not to put in, because like, if you can grab, up, grab back Graceful Charity, and in fact, if you can grab back Limiter Removal and double the double, yeah, I really should put two of it in there. Uh, Sinister Serpent, right, for the Foolish Burial. Um, right, Machines, Machines, I forgot, I'm looking for Machines, because normally I don't. Okay, okay, let's start from the top here, Machines. Um, Cannon Soldier... I'm surprised I only have one of this. Man, okay, we eventually want three cannon soldier in this deck. Definitely, definitely. Uh, we'll take one for now. Um, Morphing Jar is a little high rolly, but yeah. Uh, machines, machines. This is a pretty good effect machine monster. Um, it's a little slow, but you can always summon an attack if you want to use limit removal. Um, this can get us two submachines. Let's check our types as far as giant rat. Maybe I'll take it out. Maybe I'll leave it in. Uh, this is a machine, interestingly enough. And they can float into each other. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, three turtle. Okay, okay, I'm liking that. Uh, Momonga. Mm, no, no, not really. Um, tomato. Tomato can float into Cannon Soldier. I'll consider it. Maybe I'll take Tomato out. But, I mean, really, we're not finding too many machines. So, you know what? Let's throw in three Tomato. If we don't find too many machines, Mystic Tomato's just kind of filling the spot here. You know what I mean? Uh, for the machine we want, Cannon Soldier. Um... Okay, yeah, three of these, three of these, and uh, Exile Force as well. Um, machines, machines, but we're not finding too many machines. This is a Wing Beast, despite saying Cyber. Um, let's see, yes, 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 yes. Um, hmm. Not too many machines. the board, so I'll throw it in. Um, this is the machine. Okay, okay sure. Boganingen. Okay. Um, this could help us get to some of our equips. Like Premature Burial and then loop that with Giant Trunate. That sounds good, honestly. Should I put in two? Sure, sure. You know what? Sure. Um, machines. Gigantes. Yeah, a lot of machines are Earth. So I think I think we'll throw this in. I think we'll throw this in. Just for some speed. Some speed to the deck. Um, machines. Machines. Boy, where are all the machines? Is this a machine? It is. Nah, I don't think I'm that desperate for machines, though. Um, I don't know. Maybe? Maybe we'll have to go with uh, Bug Roth, though. Mobius? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, the back row is just... There's always too much back row in this game. So, machines. Um, this is a bad machine. Okay, gyroid. Man, the roids might be the only machines we have. If that's the case, we might have to throw in gyroid here. Okay, steamroid. I think steamroid's definitely the best machine we have in this deck. No, then again, droid is pretty good in its own right. Um... So we're at 75 cards? Man, that's a lot of cards. Um, 
Wow, that's it. Okay. Um, are there any, like, normal machine monsters? Oh, let me think. Maybe mechanical chasers in this game. Okay, let's look for a mechanical chaser. So I'm pretty sure I pulled that. Um, oh, we did pull Summon Skull. My bad. Well, we don't need to open that pack anymore. Uh, mechanical chaser is what we're looking for. Um, let's see. Or any, like, is there any other, like, good normal machine you can think of, Josh? I might consider ground attacker. I mean, giant rat can float into this, so... Maybe I should. Maybe I should, honestly. Maybe I should. Um, we only have one mechanical chaser. Wow. Okay, in between episodes, I might look like what pack this comes in. And see if we can open that. Because that would really help. That would really, really help. Like, we could take, take out the ground attacker Buck Ross, throw this in. Also, like, is Cyber Dragon in this game? Dude, that would be really, really, really good, considering this deck, you know, what it wants to do. Um, any other really good, like, this is, a, yeah, you know what? Let's throw in one Cyber Tech, because if you double that, that's 5,000, so... I like that. Um, I know it takes a tribute, but still. Overdrive. Uh, honestly, I think Bug Ross is a little better because Giant Rat can float into it. I mean, it does have a little more attack, but I mean, Drillroid's got the same stats and uh, has an effect, so I think we'll pass on Overdrive. Um, just check in. Digreferia, yeah. classic monster. Oh, Exed Cannon, the machine. Okay. Okay, pretty solid one at that. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting more of this as well in this kind of deck. Um, Battle Footballer. Hmm. You know, we do have a lot of UFO turtles. Why not? I'll throw in one. Um, okay. Wow, I feel like I put too many cards in here, but then again, maybe not, maybe not. Um, okay, let's go with that, let's go with that, and we'll save. Okay, and normally that's why I do deck building off screen. <laughs> See how long that took me? Um, also, this deck does have quite a few cards, so maybe in between episodes, I'll edit out like 20 of them, because we got like 80 cards up in here. But let's see who we can duel now. Uh, we'll look for Chaz. Chaz. Chaz, Chaz, Chaz. Because we have not... And we can only duel him on the weekends, I think. So, Chaz. No. Okay. There's Chaz. Okay. Chaz, let's duel, buddy. I'm going to try my new deck on you. What? He do a chump like you. Do you know who I am? I'm the Chaz. Chaz Richardson. Yeah, we'll duel. Come on, Flood. What are you scared of? Getting humiliated? Uh... Well, I mean, maybe. I did just build this deck, Chaz, so don't be too mean to me. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we get here. Duel. All right. Swords, tomato, rising energy. Okay, so as far as what we want for the strategy, it's kind of half and half. I am liking that we're seeing a lot of spell and trap removal, but no limiter removal is the issue. So... But we do have Tomato in this deck, so you know what? Why not? Um, okay. Your turn, Chaz. Let's we'll see what you got. <laughs> I'll be ready for your worst nightmare. I draw. Okay. And we've got Rising Energy in case anything real crazy happens. I sub You're about to wet your pants. <laughs> I summon Master Kyonchi in attack position. <laughs> now I'm gonna Chaz you up. Destroys Mystic Tomato. Tear that wimpy thing to shreds. Okay. I'll let you destroy it, Chaz. Why not? It's gonna let me float into another monster, so... Also, I noticed we didn't have Sand again either, so... Uh, let's go with... Ooh, yeah, we got quite a lot of choices here. Let's go with... Does this have an effect? Ah, interesting. All right, Chaz, I'll bring out my new monster, Boganian. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Boganian. Or is it Bo... Boganian? 
Oh my god, that's a lot of faces. Bro, chill out. Chill out on the spells and traps, Freckles McGee. Alright, Megamorph, interesting. You're just wasting your cards. I reveal my face down. Robin Zombie, okay. Alright, that's a lot of back row there, Shaz. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not gonna change anything. Very good, very good. Okay, um... Let's... He's gotta have a magic chamber back there. Alright, show me the magic chamber. <laughs> I knew it. You're just wasting my cards. I don't hold my face down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, I wanted you to negate that, Chaz. Um... Now he's only got two face downs we don't know about. The Kate Commander, what the? Um, okay. Let's do this. Let's hit this one. Nope, don't chain. Ooh, get rid of that. Yes, Mirror Force, good hit, good hit. Okay, hopefully this last one isn't trap hole. I'll sacrifice a bow in it to summon Mobius, the Frost Monarch. And with a special ability, he lets me ice over two spells or up to two spells or traps. So I'll destroy those two. Alright, what was it? What was it? What did we get rid of? What did we get rid of? Seven tools? Okay, good, good. Nice to see. Nice to see. Okay. And my life points are higher right now, so yeah, that's why I was a little iffy about Megamorph, because like, I mean. If our life points were lower, actually, right now, <clears throat> like, Mobius could have doubled to 4,800. That's pretty substantial, but, I mean, right now, it's not really helping us too much, so... Okay. Go ahead, Chaz. You have no cards at all on the field or in your hand until you just drew. Just ending your turn? Good. Okay. UFO Turtle. Um... Let's go with this instead of Drillroy. Uh, if he does destroy it, I can just float into another turtle, so... Nope. Nope. Oh, right, I can't add 1,500 this turn. Nope. But see, if I did have Limiter or Mobile here, we would have won in five turns. Because what I could have done this turn... This deck, maybe it's... Ah, don't be cocky, you haven't finished me off yet. But yeah, because see, I could have doubled, like, this machine if we had drawn limiter removal. So, we're close, we're close. We just need to see limiter removal more often. That's, so we can get, like, the times two and uh, potentially the times five bonus, so. Oh, and he, he's he got nothing. Oh my god. Okay. Let's just go with Draw Roy. Okay. And here we go, Chaz. Um, let's see. So to do the most damage, let's... Actually, okay. I'll use Rising Energy right now. I'll discard Megamorph. Boost UFO Turtle by 1500 points. Okay. Go Turtle spinning. Rapid spin attack. Ah, you better not get too cocky. You haven't finished me off yet. Oh, yeah, I have. Go Mobius Frost Glacial Freeze. His whip can't win. Game over, Chaz. Alright, 350. Okay. Ah. Me, I lost. Me, lose. I'll get you next time, Flood. You better believe it. Believe it. Okay. Um, what time are we at? Okay, yeah, we are at 8 o'clock. That is what time I would say I would go to. So, uh, let me save here. Well, actually, I think we can go for a little longer. Is it at night? No, 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 not yet. I was getting ready to say I could do some time duels, but no, no, no. We'll just save. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably do, like, a lot of deck editing between episodes. I definitely want to add, like, that Amazon, uh, Swordswoman and some other cards to the Earth deck. And I definitely want to, like, slim this deck down as far as cards go. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys all for joining me. And I will see you guys all next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. All right.
I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Yeah, uh, if you want to, feel free to check out some other stuff. Like, uh, we got Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories still going on. Uh, <laughs> I recently started a Let's Play of Dragon Ball Z uh, Legacy of Goku 2, also, if you like Dragon Ball Z. And we've got Pokemon. I'm doing a Platinum Randomizer. And we've got uh, Pokemon the Trading Card Game. Yeah, a lot of different stuff we got going right now. So feel free to check that out uh, if you want to. And if not, hey, yeah, feel free to keep watching, you know. Uh, just watching, just that, that, that alone helps. Uh, all right. Appreciate you guys. Bye-bye. Have a good day.